Hello everyone and uh, welcome to session 11 already of our PC building simulator and as you can see I just uh, booted our game up and uh, here we are and um, okay looks like uh, everything has been working really well right now uh, I'm so sorry that I, that there's always a bit of, of testing uh, that needs to be done in, in, in the beginning of, uh, of each session to make sure that you can hear me and that the sound is working really well. And uh, well, it's now 3 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Bangkok, which uh, should be 3 p.m. in uh, the United States and uh, late evening in Central Europe, so that would make it easier for most of you to join the, the live stream, which has been an issue uh, earlier in earlier sessions. So we have done already a lot of things uh, in the past uh, 10 sessions. As you may recall, uh, we almost hit the $100,000 mark and uh, we also did some decorations. As you can see, my favorite is the Coke machine. We also have our new sofa and a plant and some Heart of Stone decorations as well. So we have um, a very nice uh, workshop now with plenty of light, with very nice uh, terrace outside and uh, of course a lot of happy co-workers. We have been building loads of PCs for them already and we've been um, We've been also uh, upgrading their, their PCs, uh, cleaning out their PCs and um, yeah, re replacing all their faulty parts, okay? So, uh, in this 11th session, um, what are we going to do? Are we just going to do what we have always been doing? Um, I hope though that we can go slightly faster this time so uh, we can reach the next level uh, as soon as possible um, but as you know it's uh, it gets harder and harder to to level up so uh, that means that uh, we have no choice but to do a lot more jobs to to get to to the next level which is okay uh, so without further ado, let's uh, open up our game and uh, while it is loading, um, I'd like to say that um, about the music, I won't be using the uh, music anymore from inside uh, the game. So you know when you go here, you have this music player and you have these uh, soundtracks that belong to the game itself but you know after more than 10 sessions now I've, I've heard them more than enough so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna load some uh, some local music that is royalty free uh, where I have a license for of course and um, I'm going to be using that one uh, instead and I love this uh, this new game, I don't know what I'm saying, this new music file, I won't be putting it too loud, just slightly, so you can still hear me. But I really love this song, it's uh, very uplifting, it also takes like 10 minutes, so it will be okay if it's on uh, on a loop. Okay, so uh, let's open up our email. And we have uh, four requests. One is already a PC built for Phoebe. Two. We used to have two. Two on the whiteboard. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fix... Uh, Jorgen and Diane Gasp first, and then we'll have a look for Phoebe and uh, Diane. Okay, so Jorgen need to uninstall all the games and get typos sold and a PDF reader on there instead. And I know this is a bit cheeky, but I'm trying to print off 
An IT support quick reference guide, okay. Hi mate, bit of drama up here in finance. The guy who asked for the 4K upgrade got caught playing as we go during office hours. So he's got to remove all his games. I told him I'd do it for him, no problem. I even offered to waive my usual 5% technical consultancy fee. You can't put a price on customer loyalty. Speaking of which, any chance I can get some kind of mates rates from you? I have been passing quite a few jobs your way, so this discount seems fair. No pressure, just saying. <laughs> okay, so remove all the games and have some some stuff ready. Okay, we already fixed the printer uh, at the end of uh, session 10. Right, so let's just have a look right here. <laughs> that looks okay. Okay, let's uh, just uh, install my USB drive. And let's put it up. Looks clean to me. Uh, oh yeah. Everybody has 30, 30 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not going to upgrade any of his parts. Luckily we have a very fast, fast drive in it. Um, hard drive in it. Okay, let's install typecode was sell out and document reader if I'm not mistaken. There it is. Okay, so when we reboot that should all be fine. Yep. Ready for the delivery. So that's the first to get taken care of. And we have Diane. I expect you to die. Not you for your interest, just getting in character for the killer of in my book. Only problem is I don't know how he kills people yet. I was thinking he could melt the victims and acid that he keeps inside his computer. Can you add water calling in to my PC so I can see how it looks? If all the stuff inside was green, it would be even better. Okay, so we have a cool job here. We need to install some uh, some green coolant. So let's have a look for a radiator. Oh wait, maybe we should open up and see how much space we've got. Oh, looks like we have plenty of space for it. But it is only four hundred and fifty dollars, so need to be extra careful. I can already remove this. Uh, let's go to our uh, custom water cooling shop. Mm. This one seems to be the, the cheapest. We will we'll go for that. This one has the lighting and then a CPU block. Mm. This one will do as usual. Hold on, I think it's the TR4, right? The Risen Threat Ripper 1950X. I think that is the TR4 socket. Indeed, it is socket TR4, so that means that we need to be extra careful when choosing our CPU block. Okay, yes. Okay, I'm still going to buy um, Urian Tech and I'm also going to have an additional reservoir. Maybe also an additional Alpha Cool for next time. So maybe I can also install the custom motor cooling in the newer PCs that we are about to build. We have two of those coming up. Feedy. You know what, I'm gonna put the post-its already here on the correct space. Oh, that's not here. There we go. Hmm. Care for a drink, guys? <laughs> Uber cooler. Hmm. Reminds me that I'm 
I would like to have some some energy drink real soon. It's been a while. They're not healthy, but uh, it tastes really well. <laughs> Okay, sorry, we need a PC for this stupid new project. Are you free to put something together? It needs to have all the major games, Heart of Stone, Strike Back Go, Fortnite, Soccer, and Fall Guys. We'll probably need data mine as well, now I think about it. We only have $1,200, so we need to be extra careful. Let's have a look. Uh, so for will it run data mine usually is, is a heavy program. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 6 gigabytes of video RAM, storage at least 200. And since we are also going to uh, install the games, maybe we should just uh, install the 2048 um, thing. Intel Core i7 6700 and the GeForce GTX 1060. Now let's have a look for the for the games. Okay, that looks fine. Recommended 4K spec should be 16 gigabytes, but we don't have to. Let's check for the other games. Uh, wait, it says Heart of Stone, Fort Fight, and Sakar and Strike Mego, and also Fall Guys. That is okay. Four gigabytes, yeah, that, that looks all fine. But there was one more, I believe, uh, four guys that we need to check. And I, I assume that everything will be fine, right? Yeah, okay. So as long as we have eight gigabytes, uh, let's check. Oh, yeah, we have. But the thing is, this is very expensive. It's one thousand eight hundred dollars that we purchased for it. Now it says five hundred sixty-seven. I don't know why the the price drops because. We did pay a thousand eight hundred dollars for it. Well, I assume indeed that it's just the, the sell price. But the problem is, if you put this component inside our machine, that it would only count for five hundred sixty-seven dollars, which is not correct. No motherboards, no memory. Okay, maybe let's have a look as well for uh, Emily Erickson. Seems my electron theory was quite wrong. The prototype very nearly exploded. I was forced to expunge the cached atomic data before it caused the meltdown, which certainly means I'll need another new computer. This time, let's target a more conservative benchmark of 9000, but I had moderate success transporting liquids, so perhaps you could add a custom water cooling setup to the processor. It may be to our advantage to use yellow coolant as well, so indeed, we need to have. A PC with custom cooling, so we already did that. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna wait for. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the components because if you have thousands of dollars, then maybe we can just do an immediate uh, delivery. Oh my, I'm as nervous as a hamster on a motorbike. Not the most auspicious of days for Aerotech leadership to ask for a progress report, but surely they wouldn't cancel such an important project. <laughs> okay, so the budget for this one is $5,000. So there's not much to be afraid of in, in this case, but for Phoebe, okay, let's, let's push her machine uh, the most as possible. Um, This time I'm gonna I'm gonna take notes. Yeah, we can remove these. We no longer need them. So let's have a new one. So we're gonna start with Phoebe. Phoebe Funky, here we go. Um, so $1,200. 
This one doesn't require the water cooling. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's check with our cases first. So our cheapest of the cheapest is, is this. But then I'm limited to the SATX and the Micro ATX. But if I'm not mistaken, we only need the 6700 one. So we just need to buy a Skylake uh, motherboard. Maybe let's. Oh, yeah, we only have these. They're all SATX. So we can just go for the Mortone H170. And then for memory, we have uh, 8 and 2, 666. Oh. Uh, this one should be the cheapest. Yeah, okay, so let's go for the uh, data at the card. The graphics card, uh, the 1060 uh, NVIDIA will do for now. That's only $340. And you know what? Um, um, let's, let's actually find it. So here we have it. And I'm gonna check with our port ranking, because maybe the MSI Radiance Maybe they are slightly better than, than, than these ones. We also have the Sheen GeForce GTX 980. So I'm wondering which one of these here... Oh wow, we even have some more. Look, this one has 8GB of video RAM, but it's uh, significantly slower than the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. And the NVIDIA GeForce doesn't uh, support multi-GPU, so it might be cheaper than, than the other ones. But then again, we have this MSI GeForce GTX 1060, also with six gigabytes of video RAM, and a f uh, similar speed with no uh, GPU, uh, multi-GPU uh, functionality available. So it's possible that these here are uh, much better in uh, performance as well, compared to the NVIDIA GeForce 1060. So let's have a look at port ranking. So uh, when I have the NVIDIA 1060 Founders Edition, this is on the 270. And I have here my, my shop. So the DFL Radian R9. Let's go find this thing. Maybe it's, it's going down. Here it is, I think. No, yeah, it, 2008, This is great, and this is a great tur. And this DFL Radian is on the 258. But it has only 4 gigabytes of RAM, so that's not enough at all. So that doesn't make any, any sense, right? The question is, where is then the 290 grade? Here, but also only 4 gigabytes of RAM, so that's not a, a good option. Then we have the MSI GeForce GTX 1060 Gaming 6G. That's more what we are looking for. Amazon. This one. This one is slightly better. But the VR CG is slightly better. Or oh, they have just the exact same score? No, they. So the VR has the exact same price and is slightly better. Then we see the Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 AMP edition is even better at 264 wow, I'm really surprised 
and then we can see the MSI Radeon RX 570 Gaming 8G. Where is that one? RX 570 Gaming 8G. Where are you? Oh, is it this one? RX 570 Gaming X A G. So this is the 261 position. Wow. This is only four gigabytes. Okay. I'm wondering the Zotac GeForce GTX 1016 Mini. Where would that be? So this one is our winner so far at 325. Radeon Gaming X A G. Let's see if we can find the Zotac GeForce GTX, which it looks like this one is going much lower. Uh, indeed. Indeed. Okay, so wow. This one is our winner right now. I'm gonna all, I'm gonna buy one already here so that I won't lose it. We also have the RX570 Gaming 8G, but I believe that yeah, that's on 262. I also have the Asus Rock. 6 Radeon RX 570 OC edition. Excuse me. What's that doing? Asus Rock 6 Radeon RX 570 AG OC edition. That's the overclock edition. Let's check this one RX 470. Looks like um, it's slightly, yeah, it's less than what we need. This is all four, 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 two, four, 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 two, two, four, two, three, two, four, four. Looks like uh, we have a winner in terms of cost effectiveness. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. And that is uh, our MSI Radeon RX 570 Gaming XAG. Great. Awesome. Awesome. So the NVIDIA GeForce uh, Edition, we can, we can uh, remove that one. We have one that is slightly cheaper and uh, slightly better. The differences are rather small, so it's okay if you would just save the uh, uh, the the research I'm just gonna buy what will the run dictate so that is perfectly fine of course uh, I'm gonna check data mine so we now have our graphics card the thing is we even have eight uh, gigabytes of video RAM so that's even awesome <laughs> awesome that's a that's a new uh, a new English word I think I just invented. More awesome. Okay, I will write down everything uh, right here. But that means that we can also use the cheapest case that we can get. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna buy this thing here. Now the 6700 is not that... Um, hot. So I think we can just go with the um, airflow. The air cooler, I mean. The air cooler that we have right here. Uh, we can't use the alpha cool because this is too big for um, for our case that we are going to take. But we can use the cooler master. It's an airflow of 66.3, which, you know, 163 millimeters is quite high. I'm not sure if that would fit. Oh, it will fit, but only just. Okay. 
So we can reuse that one then. For storage. Um, I'm not sure if this would fit, but we need at least 200. 240. Uh, this should be more than enough, I suppose. Mm. I'm gonna buy two, we can always reuse them later, and I'm also going to buy this thing. The M2. I'm really wondering how can you know if the M2 would fit on the H170 M Tech? I really have no idea. It depends on the chipset. So that is something that I need to learn. So which chipset supports M2? And you know, based on, on what you can see here, you can already um, guess that it's not going to fit. But I'm going to buy uh, the Kingston here anyway, just to, to compare. Uh, if it doesn't fit, we still have two of those gigabyte SSDs, right? And then for the power supply, um, I think we can do with the 650 by now. Yeah, 650 should be plenty. I'm gonna buy two of those. But I'm also going to check uh, which uh, which um, uh, PSU offers us the lowest price per watt, right? Unfortunately, I don't have a calculator on, on, on this, uh, on this uh, system. It would be very interesting to just um, divide the wattage by 60. Simply the other way around, like uh, sixty dollars divided by six hundred and fifty, and then we know the price per watt. Because as you can see, this one is uh, exactly the same as with the seventy, so it's more expensive per watt. Now this is the the lowest I know so far. This is all six hundred and fifty-five. So. This, for example, is um, uh, 10 cents per watt. And then we have here the 650 divided by 60 is less than 10 cents per watt. I'm gonna use my calculator I really would like to find out which PSU is the most cost-effective in terms of uh, watts. Uh, so 650, no, it's the other way around. 60 divided by 650 is uh, 9 cents per watt. Now I have 700 for 80. Eighty divided by seven hundred, yeah, that's eleven cents. We have seven hundred fifty for ninety. That's also more expensive. More expensive. More expensive. More. <laughs> Only four hundred and fifty. Expensive, more expensive. Oh, it looks like the Silverstone 650 indeed is one of the best ones out there. Obviously, these are more expensive, but also much smaller sometimes. Let's keep on looking. I love you. to look for the more powerful ones. 
But yeah, it looks like um, we already have the best possible deal. This is a thousand, but it is uh, 18 cents per watt. Yeah, looks like we already have our uh, best possible deal already. If you're not going to overclock, um, the 650 is more than enough. All right. Yeah, I'll buy two of those, so... Okay. We're well on our way to uh, to build one of the best possible systems. We have the, the cheapest motherboards. Not really, not really. Looks like these AM4s are, uh, are slightly cheaper. Maybe I should check with AM4. Okay, let's let's get our part ranking back. And what I want to do now is to compare our um, I want to compare our our CPUs so the Intel Core i7 6700 so 89 is the lowest possible that we need but we also have here the AMD Ryzen 3 quad-core 3100 and this one is $280 while the 6700 that we were planning to use is 240. This is 280, okay. Looks like these are... What, yeah, because the difference is $15 with the motherboard, but he, the difference is $40, so we are still better off with uh, the other one. Then I can I, I can see here AMD Ryzen 5 6 core 3600 X is that one better than I'm surprised why is this 280 because it seems that we still have one in inventory in the Ryzen 5 yeah definitely. And I can push it even more because this one is only 200. And the. Yeah, okay. That's a 6 core, but this is only a quad core. So, yeah, we can even have. Can even use this one for only 200. This one is slightly better. Wow. So this is actually the ultimate. And we have it already in inventory, so that means maybe we should uh, reconsider. Uh, and let's just remove this one. this one. So the difference is only uh, like $5, I suppose. But wait, Macro ATX is that going to fit in my case? It is. It is. And the max run speed now becomes three thousand two hundred. This one supports multi-GPU, this one doesn't, and this one even has RGB. And the chipset is B450, wow. 
So let's use this one instead. So, uh, looks like we're going to have a much, much better. So the case should be the silver stone. ES14. And then we would like to have the gigabyte E450 or SM. With the AMD 3600X. And then the CPU cooling. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but if the. If our um, air cooler will be enough, I don't think so. Maybe it can survive. But But we don't have to overclock anyway, so maybe we can still uh, reuse it. Uh, let's check the name of it. The Cooling Monster Hyper 212. I'm gonna say Cooler Monster 212. Okay, enough. Now for the memory, the thing is this memory... Um, Motherboard uh, supports 3200, so maybe I can buy a better RAM. It's uh, $30 more, but significantly faster. So let's, let's do this one. So Corsair, 8 gigabytes, 3200, that's okay. Only one is, is fine. Now the graphics card we have chosen for the MSI Radeon uh, 570XHG, that's enough. And then for storage, so Kingston or Gigabyte. And the power supply, we set the uh, Silverstone 650. And that should be it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have all of them. And we are well within budget. So the PSU and the case together are $100. 185 with this one. 185 plus 250. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my calculator again. Uh, so uh, 180 plus 250 new price. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, Cooler Master 2 and 2. I don't know the price of that one. Let's look it up. Only 45. So that's very cheap. And then the Corsair was like 110. I'm gonna say $40 for the. Uh, you know what? I'll, for, to be sure, I'm gonna use uh, the Kingston price. And the MSI Radeon is 325. And then I think we have everything $960 which is well within budget and we are going to the benchmark it and maybe we can still do some overclocking on the GPU then not much but you never know I'm really trying to squeeze out each and every uh, benchmark point but that's not the only PC we need to build, right? We also have uh, a PC for um, Emily Erickson. Now she needs a custom water cooling. And she needs at least 9,000. Now, the pay is really well. You know, I'm, I'm thinking... Let's check our part ranking. 
For the 3600X, it's only 2455 in points. Did I say, uh... wow, the difference is really big with the Intel 6700. And it's, it's, yeah, not that much more expensive. So I would kind of need to have at least 6,500 in, in graphics card. Looks like we are just going to... You know, um, let's check it. the graphics card. Descending. One thousand seven hundred dollars. But I'm quite sure we're going to to need it. So it's not one thousand eight hundred dollars, which I thought first, but one thousand seven hundred. I believe this is this is plenty. Uh, if we use this one, we're gonna reach twelve thousand. This is the absolute, absolute number one. Maybe I can go much, much cheaper. Maybe the Asus ROG uh, are um, very cost effective. Let's let's compare this one. The Asus TUF Gaming GeForce 2080. Where does that one stand? On place 34. Now let's see if we have a cheaper one than that one. Um, it was 1400, right? 1440? 445. Now what I'm wondering is, is this one the most effective one or not, so... For example, I have AS Rock Radeon RX 6800 XT, yeah, but this one is more expensive, okay. So let's uh, focus on, on these things here. Too bad, I can't use the full screen mode or anything. <laughs> Okay, so this one is only slightly worse, but has one thousand three hundred and seventy. Zota Gaming G Force. No. Let's have a look. Where are those Zotac here? Was and the OC White edition. Where is it? White edition. I can't find it in, in this list. Must be overlooking it. I have here the Trinity, which is indeed worse. OC 
white edition. No, never mind. But the question is, where is the MSI GeForce RTX 3080? Okay, so our benchmark is uh, 1445. And I'm checking if I have something to write, but my thing, my cleaning lady has uh, has cleaned up my desk yesterday, or two days ago. And I don't have my yeah. Well, I'm gonna use my calculator in, in that case then. So we're there for the 1,445 dollars, right? For the um, Asus TUF Gaming GeForce RTX. Then. Let's have a look for. Uh, MSI 3080 Supreme X10 G that is more expensive. Corsair. We don't have any Corsair. No, we don't have any Corsair graphics cards. Weird. Then we have the MSI 6800. Wait a minute. So this one is uh, is cheaper, but are they exactly the same? No. Wait, I have MSI Radeon RX 6800. But this is the XT. MSI Radeon RX 600. 6800 XT gaming trio. So let's have a look for the um, MSI 6800. There are four of those. This is XT. XT. Yeah, and this one is less than uh, our Asus. Right? Yeah, much, much less. Well, looks like this one really is uh, state of the art. Now what I can see here is AMD maybe. Let's have a look. AMD. 6800 XT is also more expensive. More expensive. Looks like we already have uh, the best possible deal. Because if I check the NVIDIA 3080 Ti, that's also more expensive. So I think we do have the most cost-effective graphics card right now. 1445. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves uh, a CPU, the best possible CPU that she can get. And we can use it because we have uh, liquid cooling. It's the AMD Ryzen 9 16 core, so the 5950X. This is the one we are going to use. It's $1,100, that's more than enough. CPU cooling, we don't need to buy that. So the AM4. So you see that with this CPU, it 
doesn't make any sense to have the the highly powerful because we are already going to reach 9000 so it's better to go for a cheaper graphics card so we just go for maximum CPU but not maximum uh, graphics card because she doesn't require any um, specific application she doesn't require any uh, specific video RAM The next thing we can do is um, the AM4. I think we can go again for the Gigabyte B450 Aorus M. So it's only 85. It has RGB, it has a multi GPU, and a maximum RAM speed of 3200. It looks like all these motherboards with the AM4 socket they have uh, incredible RAM speeds much higher than uh, the other sockets 4733 it's like almost all of them have the SADX or Micro ATX which is also really nice you see yeah. I have no idea why one would, would pick this one because it's so expensive, but I don't know why it's so expensive. This one is seven hundred dollars. Yeah, RAM speed okay, five thousand from Factor E ATX. But let's say here S ATX, that's also four thousand four hundred. Wow. So if RAM speed would be very important to the project, then you should go for the more expensive likes. But in this case, we don't have that requirement, so I think uh, this will do for now. So then we can also buy. Oh, I don't know about this one more. And also the Corsair Vengeance. So we're going to use 3200. I have 650, that's also okay. For custom water cooling, I have three of these, but actually I only need a 240 radiator. Airflow is uh, slightly less, so maybe I should go for the 360. Yeah, okay. Everything makes uh, makes sense. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stick with two. But that means that I'm going to have to use a different case that supports um, three times 120. Yeah, we had the vampiric again. This one is slightly better in terms of length of uh, stuff. Okay, so flat notes for um, Emily, I think. Budget was 5,000 US dollars, and we need to have benchmark 9,000. And for this one, we are going to use a Vampiric case. Also the Gigabyte uh, Aorus. Then uh, 5950 AMD. X. Custom cooling. Then the RAM would be exactly the same. Uh, so of course uh, 8 gigabytes uh, 2200. Did I update it here? Yeah. Done. Uh, we use the Asus uh, RTX 3080, that's okay. Silverstone 650, and then uh, Kingston or 
gigabyte for storage. And that should be it. Okay. So this one is 3750. I'm going to deliver now. And then for custom water cooling, I'm also going to deliver now. And I'm going to buy an extra block for this one, just in case uh, we need some more later on. Also, these three maybe. And I'm also going for a radiator with 240, just to be safe. This is slightly better. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, bye now. Okay, then let's get started. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna do this PC first. This is Dion. Some more calling, right? Uh, CPU block, only this one will fit. And she wanted to have 360. Now we need to install the reservoir. We need to remove this beauty panel first. There we go. And now we can start the piping. to have green coolant really nice let's wait to be filled there we go okay And that's it. Place it in the delivery area. And then we can focus on our two brand new PCs. Hold on. Collect. Fabulous! Just what I needed to get a feel for the acid thing. Not a lot of liquid in there, is there? I guess dissolving the whole body would take a while. Okay, Phoebe, we're gonna start with yours. Oh. That's the one big, so we need to have this one. Right here. Okay, here we go. Maybe I still remember it. Oh yes, we have the exact same thing. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, this one. going to use this one for this PC. There's no need to <laughs> remove all that stuff uh, anyway. Uh, memory then. There we go. Graphics card. Uh, this one, right? But I think I just need to open my PCI lock first. Create some space there. Looks like this one needs to be removed as well. That's it. And I forgot to check if we could actually have the Kingston installed. Looks like we have a panel in here. 
It does fit, it does. But there we go. Now install our graphics card. On top of that. Now we just have some missing cables. Yeah. Um, Front panel. Let's install our USB drive. And we can boot it up, and there we go. Old games and data mine. I'm gonna have uh, these things also because. I want to max out to see how much we can get for a thousand dollars because that's the the, the value I, I believe of this PC. It's less here, but that's because we used um, a used part. This uh, AMD 3600X is actually um, a used part, but if you would buy that new, that would be two hundred and fifty dollars, and that which would bring the price on nine hundred and sixty. Let's have a little bit run as well. Got a scanner just in case she comes back. Maybe I can do something with the lighting as well. Uh, so OCCT, I would like to have that one as well. There's data mine. Oh wow. The speed is so fast. Look at it. So easy to just install a bunch of software. There we have all the games. Let's uh, improve our RAM first. And looks like we can even overclock with this cheap motherboard. Oh my, the CPU temperature is only 43, so maybe we can do something more later on. Okay, we have extreme profiling switched on for now. Okay, um, let's run this test first to see what temperatures we've got. Looks like it's ready for delivery. So it goes to 70, so we can only uh, improve it slightly. GPU is 55, okay, well, let's open up our GPU tuner. Can't find it. <laughs> Must have forgotten to install it. But I can't find it here, here either. Where's the GPU tuner then? Oh, right there. Start off with 100. Let's see what temperatures we get. Goes immediately to 50, so I, I suppose we're not gonna make it. Just let's give it a try. Here we go 60, 70, 80, 84. Okay, so that looks really well, but the question is are we going to make it with only 650 watts of power? So without pushing my uh, my CPU, I'm going to run a first test to see what the power draw is. Excuse me for, for picking my nose, but it's really itchy. Okay, in the meantime, we can already do some first things right here already. Install this water cooling thing. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have. Okay. 
Uh, CPU block. Let's see what we can do. Only over there, okay. No, 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 this one. There we go. There's a rock. Oh my. Open the panel, install our storage. too early I think I need to connect them all first so let's do the piping yeah, okay that's a nice system coolant yellow coolant please PCI lock. And I was going to install this graphics card. And then I still need my RAM. Okay, that's it. Now I'm curious, what are we going to get? Let's have a look at the other one. 4,229. I don't want to overclock it. There's a CPU. It's already 70. And I... Unfortunately, there's no information on the power draw. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try it. I just want to test it. CPU, let's go for 101 maybe, 102, supply changes and restart. It's already 50, oh my goodness. I suppose that we're not gonna make it. 80, 90, 93. It's really, really pushed to the maximum limit. Power draw seems to be okay. Okay, let's give it a try then. So now it's up to its absolute maximum. Okay, here we are. Uh, system info. Through the mark. GPU tuner and OCCT. Is there anything else you wanted me to install? No. Okay, well, let's reboot and let's get started. Hold on, let's let's check this first. 45, 46. And GPU is fine. Okay, let's see if we can overclock this thing. It's not strictly necessary, but I just want to... No, I have a better idea. Let's check first how much we get already with what we have right now. Because we have a, a benchmark of 9000, that's a requirement. I'm afraid it's going to reboot if I reinstall this thing. I'm gonna wait for it. Wow. It's going really well. There's not much room anymore for um, overclocking, as you can see. It's already at 65, maybe just 101. 
This one has finished. It's not much of a difference. 4,220. Mm. Well. So that means that we can build a PC of $1,000, which is eligible for $2,000. So with this PC, I would make $1,000 profit, right? Okay, we're going to uh, deliver this one. Thanks! Now I just need to hide out of my desk until this whole community play initiative collapses in on us. Yay! Okay. And now, Emily. We have 14,275, which is more than plenty. Which proves that it was a good idea to have um, this uh, Asus G Falls installed. Yeah, 1445 instead of the, the superpower one. And this is without overclocking. Let's see how much more we can push it. Okay, let's let's run a test. We have fourteen thousand two hundred seventy-five. How much are we going to get if I test this again? Fourteen thousand. Well, the GPU can actually be pushed even more. So let's bring this to two hundred. Apply. Let's reboot again. Looks like my face uh, is not entirely on the screen. That's better, huh? Yes, now our GPU is at 84. We're off. And I'm going to reboot. Let's overclock our CPU to 102. This test first, see how far it will go, and here we go. Uh oh. Okay, not a good idea. And I believe it has to do with the power. Um, let's let's get this down to 101. I'm not quite sure, but I'm, I'm just going to do it a bit lighter. <laughs> And you know, it does make sense, because this is already the, the best possible CPU that there is. So, um, overclocking the best possible CPU is already risky. Now, this one goes much, much better. Yeah. Okay, we can keep it uh, down. So, let's have a look for the, for the real test. This is really a very, very powerful CPU. Now we have to check if we can actually get the power consumption below 650. So that might be a bit tricky. We're over 400 now. 450. 500 watts. And 
afraid we're not gonna make it. Oh, we do, but only just 617 watts. Wow. I believe if we would actually sell this thing... But you know, we have 14,679, which is only like 400 more. So the overclocking is not actually doing that much. But the thing is, I'm wondering what happens, because this PC is now 3,400. If I would swap this uh, thing and install, wait, I have to remove it first, of course. If I install this uh, Asus ROG, now let's reboot. Without overclocking my GPU, let's see how far we can go. Now, the thing is, we need to look out for the fact that this um, GPU uh, uses considerably more uh, power. How much? I'm not sure. Let's have a look here. If you go to graphics cards. Uh, This one has 350, this one has 320, so we're really going to have to be extra careful. The difference is 30 watts, and with the previous test we had uh, 617 watts in power consumption. So that means that adding 30 more watts would be 647, which would be really, really on the limit. But it looks like that we are well below the power consumption because we did not overclock this one. So that means that there is still some room for overclocking. Also, the GPU is only 60 degrees, so we definitely can do some changes if we want to. We have 16,000, that's only 2,000 more. So, um, we can we can still overclock though. Uh, let's, let's give it a try. Go to 50% here. So we now had 16,400. Wow, and I, and I think we can really overclock this a lot. Um, Okay, so 100, 100. Let's test this first. The temperature check. Our CPU is already overclocked, so this should go to 80. Oh no, it's only 75. So I'm wondering, did maybe the motherboard reset it when I swapped the, the graphics card? I don't know. But the GPU is, is well below uh, 80, so we can even overclock it more to 200. See what that may give. All right. Here is another one, 200, we'll be plucking, apply, now let's run this test once again, and here we go, we are at 80, and that's my personal maximum, and that seems to be fine, okay, so we now have 16,465, Let's run this again and see what the power consumption is going to do. So what we see here, the power consumption here is 271 with um, CPU only. The GPU is not activated in this stage. Now we only used like 500, but we um, increased to 50%, so that might be 650. Yeah, it's gonna be quite special. So we have a significantly higher frame rate 
which is overclocking. GPU temperature looks fine, power consumption still rising. And 7, 5 around 7, 17, okay. So we now are using considerable more power. Still rising, still rising. 634 watts. So we are really on the limit now, 650. Frame rate is not that much more. But we can get past the. Uh, oh wow, six seventeen thousand six hundred thirty-nine. Okay. So that is really, really, really good. If I would install another GPU, then we would require. A much more powerful uh, PSU because 650 watts is really the, the maximum right now but we have 17,600 with the current overclocking setup and everything so this system is with the best possible CPU the best possible graphics card the best possible RAM for this motherboard, water cooling enabled, and the cheapest case that is capable of having this radiator. Um, what am I gonna do? Um, okay, I'm gonna take out this um, this um, graphics card. Put the Asus back in. Oh, it looks like I need to retest again to have our 9000. Let's just uh, run it the way it is. There's no need to overclock because uh, we will reach 9000 anyway. So for this customer that will be more than enough. So this pot would be exactly the same as the other one because this is purely CPU. Okay, while this is running, let's check what day of the week it is on our calendar. It is Monday. So I'm thinking maybe let's just uh, install uh, or create a new, a brand new PC or something. Just for fun, right? So um, I want to have a Vampy rig. Now we can remove this. So, um, max profit PC. So we use the font rig. How much space do I have here? Oh, we can still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I can build 12 PCs with the system. Okay, this is this is okay for delivery then. Email collects a fine new machine. I'm certain to make it through this next test unscathed. Discard. Now I'm thinking 
if I would have the Aces once again. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build two PCs. One PC with one graphics card and another one with two graphics cards. CPU cooling. Uh, have this one for 150 I will buy two of those so this one is actually better than the custom water cooling it's not as spectacular but that's all right we can better cool the CPU so maybe we can push it even more all right now I want to have uh, the AM4 socket You know, I'm, I'm gonna check which RAM speed is the highest. So the most expensive one is uh, 16 gigabytes and 4,800 megahertz. And then second place is 32 with 4266. This one is 430, but that's only 8 gigabytes. It's gonna look like uh, 16 gigabytes is. Yeah, okay, so 16 gigabytes at 4800 megahertz. I'm gonna add two of those, and then let's check if we have a motherboard for 4800 megahertz and the AM4 socket. We don't have that, but. Let's check. This one has maximum RAM speed 4733, but that's already pretty close, right? Okay, we are going to take this one twice. Memory we already have, graphics cards we already have, storage. Obviously, um, Um, the Kingston has 2100 megabytes per second, which is pretty nice. Then I have this one, one 2100 for $50. 2800. Yeah, to go to get higher speeds, we need to go significantly more expensive. So I'm just gonna stick with uh, this one, the Kingston. I already have two, right? No, I don't have. Okay, uh, storage. Kingston, Kingston, Kingston. Okay, let's buy two of them. And then once should be uh, six hundred and fifty. And the other one should be 1200, I suppose. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this one. 1200. So. Let's have a look for the wattage, minimum wattage. 1,650. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of them. Just in case this one wouldn't be enough. It's obvious that um, the Silverstone is the most cost-effective in terms of watts but if you want to overclock or have a multi-gpu then uh, 
we have to go with either this one or this one. So that's what we are going to, to find out. Do I have everything I need? Yes, because I already have two graphics cards. Let's take our cloud notes. So the motherboard is the um, AS Rock B550 Pro 4. It looks like I forgot my CPUs here. It's, I'm surprised that this one is um, more expensive because if when we check the part ranking, we see that the, the best one is the 5950X. And this one is only 1100. It's like, it doesn't make any sense, but when you think further, it does make sense. Because this one has 64 cores and has a different kind of uh, socket. Like the STRX4, which may be extremely small or something. Anyway, um, I need two of those, right? Okay. So the Vampiric is uh, $50. I'm gonna write the price down now so that I know um, how much it will cost in totally new. Uh, in totally new state. Ice Rock is uh, $115 only. Then we have the uh, AMD 5950X at $1100. Our cooling piece, the Alpha Cool, $360. Which is $140 only. And that's the best possible cooling we can get. Then for RAM, we have uh, G Skill uh, 16 gigabytes, 4800 megahertz at $840. And then we have the Kingston M2. 250 gigabytes at only $50. And here we have the Silverstone, $650, $60. I am forgetting one thing, what is it? Graphic cards, of course. So one um, Asus uh, well, $1,700. So the total cost to produce this PC is um, $165. Plus $1,100 plus $140. But my stream is unavailable. Can you guys see me? Stream suspended for policy violation. 